Hey my dudes, I'm sure we've all noticed this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Elden Ring PvP is not doing so good, okay? All of the issues with this game and the lack of care from From Software has finally alienated invaders enough to make some of us start quitting. Some invaders have started giving up. And we all kinda knew we were gonna reach this point, you know what I'm saying? But it's still a sad fact that needs to be addressed. Don't misunderstand me though, it's not the end of Elden Ring PvP. It seems like the vast majority of invaders are still getting a lot of enjoyment out of the game, myself included, but the trend of invaders giving up is very troubling, especially considering Shadow of the Earth Tree was only three months ago. Now the issues alienating invaders are pretty numerous, honestly, but I'll list some of the biggest ones, at least in my opinion. No covenants, no rewards for PvP, 4 player limit, really really sucks. There are constant, unrelenting fog walls. Some days it's 80% of invasions are instant fog walls. Now all the balance in the world doesn't mean shit if we don't get to play. And a lot of the times on nights like those we're not getting to play because we're just getting fog walled all the time. But the biggest issue in my mind is the constant, unrelenting anime spam. A lot of invasions, especially at high level, just devolve into dudes throwing shit at each other for 10 or 15 minutes until someone gets bored and decides to rush, which is just not very fun. Sometimes this does not even feel like a Souls game, it's like an open field anime game, and I don't like that. It's literally giving me brain damage, okay? It is. There's a lot of other issues I could have just listed, but I don't really think it's necessary. I've already made it sound like really bad. And in reality, it's only miserable sometimes. I'd say about half the time, Elden Ring PvP is absolutely miserable, and the other half, it's amazing. There are a lot of good, fun invasions to be had out there. But there's almost no middle ground. It's either really good or really bad, and I think that's the biggest issue with Elden Ring PvP. But what if I told you you could avoid most of the bad shit that I've mentioned, and even some bad shit that I didn't mention in this game? You heard that right. I'm not bullshitting. You can negate most of the cancerous aspects of Elden Ring PvP. The answer to the problems is actually very, very simple, but you have to hear me out, because this is how you have actual, genuine, consistent fun with Elden Ring PvP. Are you ready? Play at mid-level. Well, specifically level 40. Level 40 is the best. It is what Elden Ring PvP was meant to be. But you can get most of the benefits of level 40 at level 60 and even up to level 80. But level 40 is still the best. Now I know what you're thinking. This guy's full of shit. There's no way it's that simple. There's no way it's that easy. Well, uh, actually, yes it is. It is that easy. Uh, the invaders that have figured this out are much happier than those who have not. And I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to convert you to the church of mid-level in Elden Ring. So you don't quit the game. So you're no longer frustrated. So you can actually have fun. I'm gonna go over all of the benefits of mid-level PvP. Level 40 specifically, but I'm also gonna go into the very slight negatives, because there is some downsides to it, but they're so vastly outweighed by the positives. Level 40 and mid-level as a whole cannot fix the systemic issues with PvP, such as the 4-player limit and the no covenants, you know, but... The gameplay at mid-level is so good, it kind of makes you forget about all that missed potential. It's actually, like, that good. Let me explain why. I'm just gonna get the most important part out of the way. The spam issue at level 40 and mid-level as a whole is almost absent. You see, if you invade at level 125 or 168 or 200 or whatever other cancer level bracket you decide to invade, you're probably gonna invade two or three dudes that are all gonna just throw shit at you for a very extended period of time. They're gonna keep stalling and throwing shit at you instead of playing the game. And that's gonna force you to be passive and throw shit back at them. It's a spamathon most of the time at those level brackets. And that's not very fucking fun. Okay, like I said earlier, at level 40, 
people do not have the blue to be doing that shit. People have to actually play the game. Look at what you've been seeing in this YouTube video. This has all been random level 40 invasions. I'm playing the game. The host is playing the game. The phantom is playing the game. It is so nice to press R1 and R2 instead of fucking standing there throwing shit. Just like the good old days, we are pressing R1 and R2 instead of L2 and uh, whatever magic they want to use. It's great, honestly. Now, you still will run into those overleveled phantoms here and there. They can spam at you. But dealing with them is so much easier and nicer than dealing with three guys that are consistently going to spam at you almost every single invasion. You're going to get a lot of great invasions that are mostly melee at level 40, and that's one of the biggest reasons why it is god tier. This next point is potentially just as important as the last, but at level 40, the fog wall issue is almost non-existent, and that is kind of true even up to level 80, although it gets worse and worse the higher level you go. I don't know why that is, it seems like From Software just got shittier and shittier with the design the later in the game you go. I'm not really, I don't know why it's like this. I'd say on my worst day at level 40, I get fog walled maybe 10% of the time. And that's on the worst day. Let's contrast that with level 125 and above, where you're literally some days gonna get fog walled 80% of the time. And when it's not an instant fog wall, you're gonna have a shitty fight in front of the fog wall where the host can just decide, oh, I don't wanna lose. I'm just gonna go through the fog door. That really sucks. You don't really get to play at high level. And like I said, nothing matters if you don't get to play because you're getting fog walled. The solution to this is to play at mid-level where it's almost non-existent. The issue is almost not there. Okay, it's really, really nice to get to play consistently. Here's a massive plus for me in regards to mid-level PvP. But uh, the vast majority of invasions at level 40, level 60, level 80 are organic, and it's really, really nice. Uh, what is an organic invasion, you may ask? There's a lot of misconceptions about that. Uh, an organic invasion is against players that are actually trying to play through the level. They're actually trying to progress the game and beat the boss. They're trying to accomplish something. That is the original intended vision of invasions. That is what we're meant to be fighting when we invade. It is a lot nicer to be dealing with that rather than the alternatives that you usually deal with at high level. But what are these dreaded alternatives to organic invasions? Well, one type is gankers. In high level PvP, you're going to be dealing with a shitload of gankers. What they are is, generally speaking, pretty untalented, probably insecure players that know they're not going to do too well in real PvP like invasions or duels. So what they do is they set up kind of an unlosable situation. They get two or three guys, probably some of them overleveled, and they stand in one place, probably a special place with no PvE, and they wait for invaders to cheese with three versus one tech. That's pretty much what they do. They have no intention of actually progressing or beating the boss, and that's what makes these invasions not organic. Uh, fighting these all the time really, really sucks, especially considering they commonly utilize things like spam and fog wall abuse to make sure that they don't lose. Yeah, uh, these are not super common at level 40 and level 60 and level 80, although they're there. They're so few that they're actually kind of fun to beat. It's kind of fun to embarrass them, even though they've set up these unlosable situations. You know, you can still beat them. It's really nice, but at high level, there's so many of them, you get sick of it really fast. Another alternative that you're commonly going to be dealing with at high level is what we call bonfire duelists. I like to call them fake duelists. Now, there's a lot of reasons that invaders don't like dealing with these players, and the biggest reason is we are already bored of dueling. We've already moved past fighting one person. It's just not fun for us anymore. That's why we're invading. You know what I'm saying? We want to fight cooperators that are trying to progress because that's more fun and chaotic. But another reason is that these bonfire duelists are usually not honest. They're usually using a rune arc or calling blues or using their double amount of heals to cheese the fight. Uh, you're going to notice that a common theme with gankers and bonfire duelists is that they're not very good at PvP and they're trying to tip the scales in any way they can. These people just are not very fun to deal with. Thankfully, they're not very common. 
at level 40 or level 60 or level 80, but they are very common at high level. This is a great reason to try out level 40s, just to be away from these type of players in this game. Now those were all the biggest reasons why level 40 and mid-level as a whole are god tier. I feel like those are reason enough to try it out. But there are some minor bonuses I do want to mention. For one, the damage is strangely not bad shit. It's actually like really really chill. You can actually afford to make mistakes at level 40. Contrasting that with high level where you can lose in like two or three hits, it's so much nicer. But you also have to consider that there will be overleveled phantoms here and there, and they do do unreasonable damage, but it's not nearly as bad as having like everybody do unreasonable damage like they do at high level, you know? And the other minor reason that level 40 is god tier is that it's super active. At all hours of the day, the longest you're going to wait for an invasion is maybe 30 seconds to a minute. It's so nice to actually get to play, like I was saying earlier. Now we need to talk about some of the common criticisms of mid-level and level 40 specifically. I'm going to start with this one. A lot of invaders claim, oh, you're just fighting new players at level 40. Now let me just debunk this right now. Uh, there's not a lot of new players left. This game has been out for three years. Okay, now maybe when it first released, there was some validity to this. You know, there was probably a lot of new players at level 40. But now, if you're fighting someone that seems like they're new, they're probably just really bad. Okay, the average skill level at pretty much all level brackets is about the same. The difference between level 40 and level 168 or 200 or 125 is that at those higher level brackets, people have lots of spam. So they don't really have to get in and play the game and show you how bad they are. At level 40, people do not have that spam. So they have to actually get in there and do melee and demonstrate their lack of skill. So you notice it a lot more. But in reality, they're all the same skill. It's just one has spam and the other actually has to play. You know what I'm saying? Next thing I want to talk about is overleveled phantoms. Uh, this criticism is real. There are occasional overleveled phantoms at level 40 they're fairly common and they are noticeable especially at this level compared to higher level now the thing about these is that there's not a whole lot of them but there is some that's way better than dealing with you know every single player having some ridiculous spam centered anime build okay now, the thing about overleveled phantoms is they are beatable and they're very satisfying to beat. You can just straight up make a build that is designed to deal with them. Like Tarnished Hunter here. The reason all of his weapons have lightning is because it's the best damage type against overleveled phantoms. That is also why he has Scarlet Rot and every single other status effect in the crossbow because those help deal with overleveled phantoms. You can easily make a build like this and overcome these occasional overleveled phantoms. It's actually quite sad satisfying honestly but the vast majority of players are probably going to be properly leveled so it's just way better than high level where everything's fucking ridiculous you know the last criticism i want to talk about is invaders saying that level 40 would restrict their build too much now there is a bit of truth to this but not really at the same time for example tarnished hunter can use just about every good pvp weapon not all, but most. However, it is kind of difficult to make a good caster build at level 40. That's why I would recommend, if you want to make something like that, going up to level 60 or even level 80 because you can get a lot of the benefits of level 40 while still having more stats, right? However, level 40 is still going to be better. There is, you know, a happy medium you can reach. I want to address something else uh, using late game gear in the early and mid game. Uh, it's completely justified, and here's why. Overleveled phantoms have everything, from mid-game to late-game to Shadow of the Earth Tree stuff, including overpowered stats. It's justified to use whatever you need to use to deal with them, so just do it. Don't limit yourself. I hope you try level 40, because I want you to have fun. My level 40 live streams will confirm all of this, by the way. I'm still going to enjoy 168, because there are still some good invasions there, but level 40 is king. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're cool, and dislike if you dislike it.